gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to sew together your granny squares. I've already sewn two together. So you can see we're gonna be sewing them together in white and we're gonna be whip stitching them together. So there's an example. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by sewing this bottom row together and then I'll sew along. If you sew your rows, you can then sew these individually and then sew this entire row together to kind of speed things up a little bit. So what you wanna do is make sure you have your right sides out and then just fold your square together. So then I've taken my white yarn and my yarn needle and you're gonna start out up at your corner. You wanna get those corners together. You want a knot to begin. Okay, and then you wanna make sure you go through each stitch along. So starting on my white side, I'm going through the first stitch and then I'm going through the stitch of the gray. And we're just gonna whip stitch along. Just ensuring that you don't miss any stitches as you go. So you're just looping around, going through the white side over to the gray. And we just work all the way down our square. Okay, so we're back, we're to this corner now. So we're gonna go through that corner and I'm gonna go through it twice, knotting, just so that we're sure that that's a good, it's good and secure. And now you're gonna wanna ensure that you weave it through the white, just again to hide the yarn so you're going to want to go one way make sure you pull so that it's not pulling your square out of shape and then just weave back through in the opposite direction and then that will give you a good secure And then once you're happy with your weaving, you just wanna trim that end. And then you're gonna weave in this end as well. I left that tail kind of short. You might wanna leave that a little bit longer to begin with, so it's a little bit easier to do that weaving. There we go. I made it work. And if you're following along with the pattern, just make sure that you have your squares lined up correctly. So mine are like this. So now I want to work, go to the next square. So again, I'll just fold that over so I have right sides facing. And then you just continue sewing all of these squares 
And then as you have your rows done, take your rows and then you can match up. So what I would do is start here, take a little clip and clip each of pin or clip at the center just to make sure that as you go you don't get your squares messed up because we want this pattern to match up perfectly so that our herringbone will look amazing. So there you go, that's how you're going to sew your grannies and this is just a nice clean white line, it's not going to be super noticeable when it's done. So if you want to hop on over to the blog and check out this herringbone pattern, you can do that so that you can put uh, your granny, sew your granny squares together. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel.